way is cold. God damn, bro. We're not, we not knocking the weather. We finna go get this lift. We finna go get this lift in, man. Hope y'all been taking care of yourself. You know what I'm saying? Uh, your boy is uh, feeling good today. Woke up nice and early. Finally was able to get up this morning. You know what I'm saying? I've been having trouble with my sleep patterns and trying to find that routine. But now that I, you know what I'm saying? Just days like these, like you just gotta take it day by day. You know what I'm saying? Do what you can do. You know what I'm saying? Regardless, I'm gonna get my lift in, but I know I can be more productive on the day when I go get my lift in early morning. You feel me? So it's a Saturday morning. Uh, it's supposed to be a snowstorm tomorrow. The next couple of days, I live in Texas, so it's kind of weird, but it's gonna be like it's something light. Ain't nothing, hopefully, ain't nothing too crazy, but I'm getting it. I'm getting my workout in at the end of the week. Uh, I might do some at home work, but um, you know what I'm saying? I, I plan on hitting some legs. And uh, so we do some chest. Those are only two exercises. Those are the only two, two exercises I've been missing. This is nice little Saturday morning, so it shouldn't be too crowded up in here. We finna lock in. I'm not gonna do too much talking. You know? In my opinion, I think jump rope is probably the most underrated exercise you can really do. Just to, as a good warm up, warms up your your shoulders, your legs, your knees. Good ankle mobility. See, I got the shoes off. You know, everybody's warm up is different. Do what's best for you. And let's get to this first working set. All right, so this next exercise, we got the single leg quad machine. One of my favorite exercises to do is my warm up, just a slow control work. The reason why I go slow and control is because if you have a lot of knee pain in your knees, you want to be, you want time under tension. So actually give your, give your joints some time to be under tension so that way you can create more muscle Strengthen your knee. You see, I'm, you see, I'm rubbing my knee, massaging my knee. You know, just to get that good tension on that joint, cause you know all the all the movements you be doing, I be hoping. I'm very active. If I continue down this path as I get older, you know, you want to protect your body from injury. So you, you gotta do exercises that prevent injuries. You gotta strengthen your joints as much as possible. You not like you can't just get up and go. You gotta actually sometimes you gotta do that groundwork and lock in. And another thing is when you're doing single leg, you're really creating that balance in both your, both your knees or your joints or your legs, you know. You don't want to have one leg stronger than the other one. You don't want to have one knee pain and one don't, you know what I'm saying? You just want to create that balance. And then I, I superset it with two legs. You can up the weight and slow, of course, slow and control. So I like to do four sets of 12s with single leg and then superset it with four sets of eight to 10 reps with double legs. All right, this exercise is where we lock in there, man. These are the hack squats. In my opinion, I ain't never really done them before, so it's going to take me some time to get into. But like we, like I said, man, we start with lightweight, lots of reps. You know, I did four sets of 15 just to get just to get that movement going. I'm starting to get – I need to get my legs back right, Meryl. You know, I, have, I, I could be a lot stronger than what I am in my leg area. So – I'm starting to love legs. I'm starting to fall back in legs. Um, really slow and control, of course. And uh, let me know, like, if y'all, let me know how y'all feel about hack squats because it might, I feel like I'm not doing it right for some reason. Like, it feels weird, man. Like, I don't know. It's my foot placement. I don't know. As, as you can see, I'm rubbing my knees and stuff. Cause like I said, I've been having kind of knee pain, so I'm taking it kind of light today just to ease my way back into it. You know, I want to get I want to get painful with it. You know what I'm saying? I want to I want to up the weight as I keep doing it. I know I'm going to get stronger. You know, I had to put two plates with a 25 on and uh, I, I noticed that I'm not really getting deep. Cause I just I just I'm just not comfortable with it yet. You know, so if I get too deep, I feel like something might happen, bro. So I'm just like I'm just getting that slow control rep. I'm getting that halfway, kind of halfway, but it's kind of full. What my coach used to always tell me, man, get your dip. Nah, but hack squats, nine out of ten. Y'all know what you know when it comes to the bench and the dumbbells. You know what I'm finna get active with. Incline, you know what I'm saying? Incline, bro, is the cheat code. If you want to grow your chest, upper chest, middle chest, it is gonna get your chest fuller and a lot explosive. You gonna start peaking, boy. I'm telling you. This is what, literally what I love to do, dumbbells. I really stay away from regular bench, flat bench, um, just because my shoulder been kind of jacked up. But I feel like dumbbells really isolate the muscle group. 
a lot better than the regular bar bench and uh and it's just easier on the shoulders and I, I felt good after that one chest exercise like i said i was just itching to just push some weight on chest just because it just it just felt good man it just felt good but this next exercise we gotta go back to the painful movement we got the goblet squats i do these four out of 12 four sets of 12 and um just slow and control this is great for quads great for the tension on your knees I put the weight behind me so I get more tension on my quads. But this next exercise is by the time I by the time I got to these man, I, I was fried man. But you know you see the ba imbalances. I'm fumbling. My balance is off. You know what I'm saying. But these are the, these are called the jump, the lunge jumps. I me personally, I love doing them. It's great for the glutes, great for the quads. You know, just to get more explosive in my knees. You know, just to create that balance, of course. Uh, I really do love these. I do four sets of 12 on each side. And by the time you do these, man, you're going to be pretty much done. Like, you're done. Like, you're done. You can maybe go squat at squat after this, you know, or you can go do some hamstrings. But today, we're just focused on qu the quads and glutes, really. But if you made it this far in the video, man, I appreciate y'all, man. All love and support. We in this shit together. Let's get it.